first two days of the Rusha road trip saw us traverse a variety of terrain that highlighted the vast range of upland landscapes found in Montana. The wide sweeping views of Sharptail country juxtaposed with the beauty of the Teton River build a wildlife area certainly provided a mixed bag of birds and results. But the crew now had our sights firmly set on the central part of the state's prolific pheasant country. Or at least we hoped it'd be prolific. This was, after all, a hunting trip. Good morning! With high hopes and energetic dogs, day three found us climbing the rugged terrain of the Pheasants Forever Wolf Creek Block Management Area. There's so much out here, we don't need to waste our time. Let's be smart, find some birds before this weather hits, because it's gonna get spicy. Roughly four miles of the namesake Wolf Creek flow through what's made up of more than 1,000 deeded acres and 640 acres of state lease land. What? What? What did I do to deserve that attention? All right, so we're gonna go hit the straw, go up and over the hill again. I love that. And then see how this other drug just keeps on going. We're gonna work that all the way up and then the dogs will explore up these fingers and all of that. We'll see what's in there, but it seems like a good game plan. So basically, if you see a hill, you just climb over it. That's well, the theme of today. For sure, this big one. Okay. Right, just go straight up it as fast as possible. Nice. This key area is contiguous to another 1,600 acres of DNRC state land and the Beckman Wildlife Management Area. And all together, this provides more than 10,000 acres of land open to hunting and outdoor recreation. Quill, you're just a madman. We're cutting this way now. With that much ground to cover, we wasted no time letting our dogs get to work because the looming storm system was heading our way and the increasing wind made it clear the forecast was true. over there, Bob. Pin me a rooster, young boy. I want to keep these, but they smell like dog. <laughs> I don't know if we can be friends when you smell like that. Oh, God dang it, Andrew. Yeah, it reeks. Like, I'm really second guessing if I really want to do this for the rest of the day. And He's got to go. He has things to do. Hey, Ada boys. Willie. Hey, I found a little shed. Look at that. All right, well, it was in a super low, bushy area that had tall grass in her mix. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. Boy, for as loud as a couple of those hens got up, I was really hoping they were roosters. Yeah. Hen! Oh, it was loud. In the hole. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Well done point. 108 yards. Erica, do you think he's pooping? No, he's standing still. 73 yards. Whoa. And go boy quill. Let's do that on a big old rooster. Wind whipped with nothing to show for our efforts other than a brace of tired bird dogs that covered well over 20 miles, we decided to call today and see if Mother Nature would throw us a bone the following morning. We don't have many birdless days. No. We 
we didn't. We don't have any shot list. Yeah, that's like, an even worse way to put it. Shot. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Waking up the plummeting temperatures and steady rain, we convinced ourselves that nothing good comes to those who wait. So we set off on what is one of Pheasants Forever's signature public access properties. Look at We point birds, big juicy roosters, we don't like porcupines, we don't like skunks, no grizzly bears. Roosters. Okay. So we're gonna climb up over this hill, gonna head that general direction. Best laid plans, we'll see what happens. Having been previously featured in National Geographic magazine, the Coffee Creek property isn't exactly a secret, and rightfully so. This block management area's 800 acres lies between 320 acre and 880 acre parcels of Montana DNR and conservation land and contains shelter belts, small grain food plots, refurbished oh, nesting cover, and native upland and riparian habitat. If this sounds too good to be true, it's not. But that doesn't mean this is going to be easy. They lost their absolute mind. I know. Just. <laughs> Trying to see my dog through the raindrops. She's right there. <laughs> Or add that coolie all the way down to the bottom where Chad said there's 2,000 roosters, they're all roosters. Um, and then we're going to walk it that way. So we're also telling flat birds, solid points, close working flushers. No missed shots wrong. either. No missed shots. True doubles over pointed no birds hunting. only. That's all we're doing. At this point in the day, the dogs were soaked to the bone and our hands looked like raisins. But we were moving birds, and every additional flush added just enough energy to our reserves to keep fighting Mother Nature while hoping to finally cross paths with the rooster in range. Nice! Nice shot! Come here, that's a good boy, come here! Yeah, yes! Yes, buddy! Yes, sir! There's a good one! Oh, we did it! We did it! I definitely wouldn't have shot unless you yelled. Yes! Thank you! Nice yes. work! Good shot! Oh, wee! Okay, I feel better. I can keep going now. Yeah. Oh, feels good. Feels good. Makes the rain a little bit more bearable. And Chloe retrieved it! Yeah! The Wolf Creek and Coffee Creek projects took years to complete and would not have been possible without the dedication of Pheasants Forever and the Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. This area has truly cemented the legacy of our Montana chapters and their vision to purchase, manage, and open up properties as high quality pheasant habitat for future upland hunters. And although they are able to produce substantial upland bird populations capable of withstanding a higher than average amount of hunting pressure, it also brings up a more glaring point. Even in access rich Montana, there's demand for more high quality, publicly accessible habitat. Our mission of upland habitat conservation and public access is never done, nor should it be, because with the support of our chapters, members, donors, and partners, we can continue to improve what we have while creating more opportunities for the future. Oh, God, did I
good technically. Nice! Ah, that's a cool thing! I will say, in the many years I've been up one hunting, that's the first time I've ever had the gun over, like broken open, first flush, crack it, safety off, and make the shot. Like that's just, you know, that doesn't happen very often. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Next up on the Rooster Road Trip, we head into the belly of the beast as our last day in Montana puts us up against the clock and the elements. Oh, pet, pet. Good boy back there. Pet again. 